What's up, guys? This is Joe, and welcome to episode 49 of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. And we're not going to start it off with cutscenes this time around, because we have to get in the submarine. Yeah, but first, before we get in the submarine, we actually have to get... I'm going to skip this for just two seconds while I come back here and get this chest. Look what's in here, guys. Leviathan scales. Leviathan scales. <laughs> They're not in the other chest. You don't get them for beating carry armor. They were there. Yep, and we also get a scimitar, which is a triple growth, AP growth weapon for Sid, which is one of two triple growth weapons. Uh, Pretty two awesome. things. I can't believe we didn't know that the Leviathan scales were two seconds after the end of the last episode. And these guys right here are just regular enemies that I'm going to cut out because they're not really worth showing. So I will see you guys after the fight. Alright, now that we've taken them out, we can actually climb in the submarine right here. Why couldn't they do that? I don't know, but I'm just shocked at how poorly guarded this damn thing is. Look. Oh, look, they got three more. You want the sub? Just try and take it. Um, sir, maybe we shouldn't piss them off. That's right, kid. That's true, I know. Made quick work of them, too. Man, the guards of the submarine are less than stellar, if you ask me. They're pathetic. I think they're probably just, like, sh maybe soldier rookies, but I don't know why they put them on guard to guard the huge material. I think that's kind of important. Uh, yeah, you would think so. I, is the huge material on the submarine, technically? I mean, I think we might are supposed to believe it is at this point, but it's not I actually think, here. I think we think it's on here, but yeah, you're right. No, no, no. this is terrible. Whoever that was, I don't know. There's no dialogue boxes. I hate boxes. that. We don't have much time left. I don't want to die. There's still so much more I've got to do. I never even got to do my special victory dance in battle. All right. Then make this your first victory. Go on, show them. Yes, sir. Remember your last training. Begin. Yes, sir. Wait, did we taught them that move? My God. <laughs> I'm back, and now I got no regrets. Attack. Man, they sound serious to take a prisoner. All right, so we can either fight them or watch how easy it is. Watch how long it takes to take them prisoner. <gasps> They're there, done. They're prisoner. The commander gave up that quick. <laughs> That's funny. That's I don't care. awesome. That's how quick they give up. Someone, please, I'm sorry. I can't take it anymore. The lack of space to shaking the roar of the engine. Better hurry. Reno's getting away. Hunk of junk, just gotta do this. Oh, Sid's gonna take care of everything. Oh. oh. <laughs> there, alarm's off. See? Now you take over. Hey, you're right. I do feel a little better driving. No sweat. Just leave everything to me. Here we go with uh, another... Oh, we gotta talk to... Or not talk. We gotta interact with a little thing up here. I'm not gonna read the manual. I know how to play. We sit in the seat. Sit in the seat, and we're gonna drive this thing. This is actually another little mini game that we got to do here we have to drive the submarine we've been talking about this for how long now uh for a while a last time. time yeah we've been talking about it for a while like every mini game we go we like dread the next one well here's the next one yep here's the next one <laughs> what you have to do in this one is you have to actually follow the red submarine i think it's right in front of you isn't it yeah, It looks like it's right there yeah yeah you got to follow the red submarine fire some salvos and torpedoes at it don't worry about the yellow submarine because they're not the ones with the huge materia and sink them so it's like battleship I was going to make a really bad pun about uh, Yellow Submarine, if you know what I mean. Oh, uh, we all Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the Beatles are awesome. You know how nice. awesome? If, it wasn't, if I wasn't worried about copyright, I would probably play, like, Yellow Submarine right now. Oh, my God. The Beatles are, like, beasts for copyright, too. Dang. Nice. That was quick. That was wow. the fastest I've ever done that minigame in my life. I think that was, like, what? They gave us 10 minutes? So what was that? Just, like, 35 seconds? Yeah, 35 wow. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> now, that is uncanny. Or not uncanny. It's, like, uh, unheard of in the full-grown culture completing a mini game that's before, without failing and for that we get the shimmer sub so so we get to keep it then whoo we did it the huge material should be at the bottom of the sea by now let's continue the search all shinra submarine units do you read did you hear that whistle yeah all shinra subunit whatever do you read hmm must be from shinra report number two we've no choice but to respond all right i'll do it this is Shinra number two. Everything's normal. Roger. Your next mission is return to Junon Dock. We will transport the huge material from the airport. Those without other assignments report for guard duty. Well, you know, their guards are useless anyway. Yeah. That is real. all. Over and out. Junon Airport. We should make it if we hurry. Forget about the huge material for now. We're climbing. The airport? No sweat. Alright, so we're just gonna leave the huge material on the bottom of the ocean, I guess, and we have to go back Great. to the Junon, uh, back to Junon Harbor, actually. I don't know if it's actually, if you could classify it as a harbor or whatever. 
I guess I think they call it a port. Dock. Yeah, I guess a port. There you is, go. The port is like a hole in the rocks. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Dang. Well, it's cool. We've got another vehicle now, so we have taken the airs, and now we can take the sea. Yep. We see uh, our airplane or uh, the high wind is over there, and the what is this called? Just the Shinra sub, I guess. Yeah, it's just the submarine. All right. The for now to continue with the story, we actually have to go to the airport here. I, right, yeah, yeah, we got to do that now. There yeah, were we some sneak uh, ten gill at the guy to use the elevator, right? I can't believe. First of all, aren't the people down here not supposed to be able to get to the top? Isn't that like the point? It takes ten it gill. Takes 10 I, like gil. all of Shinra security is so dirty. I mean, what do you got to pay ten gill when the guy can be bribed to let you go up to the prestigious upper or like upper plate of Junon? Yeah, I mean, that's ridiculous. I don't know. Now we get to watch Joe's uh, favorite cutscene. Oh, yeah. Game. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this right here. I'm telling you, you need to appreciate it. It's freaking awesome. I like it, but I just never thought it was, like, the highlight of the game. <laughs> I'm telling you, now you can appreciate the small things. Look at this. When you play the game as much as I have, you appreciate little things here and there. That's true. I've played this game so many times over the past, like, couple of months. I'm probably not going to play this game for a while afterwards. Yeah. After this Let's Play is well, over. Oh, that well, was pretty anyways, cool. Nice little zoom in here. What is that? That is a very peculiar looking airplane. It looks like a My dog God. head with like ears Look on the flaps. Look how huge the bottom is. There's no way that thing would fly. Yeah, My I was God. like, what the? Whatever. That looks like, uh, for you Metal Gear fans, it looks like the Shago Hod to me. Never heard of it. <laughs> oh, oh, dang. Well, hopefully maybe somebody has. Dang. All right, now I guess we can continue, but we have to have a little, another little cutscene here. Oh, no, the huge materia. Let's go after it. Where's that thing headed? Rocket Town, of course. How did he know that? Uh, who knows? Alright, can you believe that? Like, as soon as we... It happens all the time, but, like, right after we get out of a cutscene, there's a, a I just... I don't know how Cloud knew that plane was going to Rocket Town, and I'm surprised Sid didn't have something to say because it's kind of his hometown, so... Yeah, you would Whatever. think maybe Sid would say, like, it'd be a little more... Enthusiastic. Yeah, like, oh, I've got to go defend my hometown. Or something I thought of during that cutscene is if Shinra has these military helicopters and airplanes and all kinds of stuff, why were they so dead set on taking his tiny Bronco away? Um, that's and a good what question. we came up with during the cut during that battle there was that all they wanted to do was maybe crush resistance, you know? Cause, yeah, because I don't know. I haven't run into anybody else who had their own aircraft besides the Shinra. So. I mean, obviously, the tiny Bronco can't stand up to that thing. Wait, was yeah. the tiny Bronco was Sid's or no? No, that's Sid's. Yeah, that's what I thought. So he, it was the Highland was his too, right? Yep. Man, he's got his own little air fleet going. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I mean, I guess now yeah, I was gonna say that Rocket and Rocket Town was his too, but he's just a pilot, so. All right, now what I want to do here is actually go to where's Midgard? It's over here somewhere. Uh, we talked about buying the steel glove in the last episode, and we didn't have enough gill, but now we do. So I want to go buy that. Man, I'm going B. I, I don't even know yeah, how okay. to drive anywhere. Right that way. Yep. yep, there we go. Dan, you're going robotic again. My God. Awesome. It's like a feature of the Let's Play. Joe's auto-tuned. I don't know why I'm going T-Pain. You sound like T-Pain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so I don't want to bore you guys with the walk back to Walmart, so I'll just go into Midgar. I'll meet you guys in Walmart, and we'll pick up the Steel Glove, and then we're going to head to Wutai. So we'll see you guys in Walmart. All right, so we've made it to Walmart, and I think Joe has uh, released his inner demon known as T-Pain. Yeah, my uh, T-Pain self has gone off to the bathroom. I'm back now. All right, so now that we are here, we got to go to the gun shop, like we mentioned before, and we got to buy... Well, we don't even have to, really, but the steel glove, just in case we want to steal some stuff later on. I'm not sure... No, I think the other guy's the guy that has it. Does the steel glove, like, make whatever you want to steal, like, you will get it, you'll never miss again? It makes it really easy to buy. Uh, not buy, I just read buy. It makes it really, really easy to steal stuff, and it's 129,000 gil Holy for it. Holy crap. Yes, I'll get it, because... All right. I think he thought he was, like, giving us a deal, but come on, 130,000 gil? Damn. I think that's probably worth more than his whole shop. You Yeah, look at this place. This place is Pretty a ghetto. mess. Well, you yeah. know, it's been a long time since we've been here. Do you want to go buy the... What was that room called? Remember that in the uh, the Honey Bee Inn? Oh, uh, the uh, the bee room. <laughs> yeah, I remember with Bubby and uh, what's that other guy's name? Mookie. Mookie, yeah. <laughs> That's just, oh my god. If you guys don't remember who Mookie and Bubby are, I suggest you guys go watch that episode. Those but... guys are freaking dirty. Yep. Now I don't want to bore you guys with the fly over to Wu Tai because it's gonna take just waste of time uh, yeah. flying over there. So I'll see you guys in Wu Tai. All right, here now here we are in Mutai. We got to go back. We got the Leviathan skills, and it's kind of cool that we get to use them right away, pretty much. 
Yeah, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna head to the back. Yeah, it's that little bridge over there. We're gonna go to a place called the Dachau Fire Cave, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't know. We might have gone in there when we came here the first time. I think we just barely went in there and got one item or something like that. I Remember? think uh, that's when the Turks were over here. We were looking for Don Caneo. I think Rude was actually covering the door. I don't even remember which way to go, actually. I'm not sure if this... Oh, maybe I can't go this way. Uh, oh, no. no, that's not it. <laughs> I don't Dang. know this place. All right, apparently this place is like the best place in the game to run into enemy encounters. Yeah, apparently. Kind of <laughs> oh I mean, my I God. took like 10 steps and it was uh, another enemy Oh, there's fight. the fire cave. There we go. All right, so now there are... Yeah, I don't remember what was here, but we got that. Now, if we walk over here, the scale of the sea god shines... And it oh does. my, <laughs> that's a little dramatic. Those little scales we got from that treasure chest make fire, like, completely go away. It's kind of <laughs> cool, actually. Now, you might be asking yourself why we would want to do this, and that's because apparently there was a treasure chest under all that. And it holds... Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that. Or Ritsu. Or whatever. That's so a that's weapon that. for Yuffie, so... Oh, well, it makes sense. It says we're tied. Eh? Now, if we come over here, it can shine again. Is there another item here? There yeah, this be. is a material over here called steel as well. I think it's right there. You can kind of see it right here. Steel as well. Nice. What that does is pretty much like if you add it to a... It, like you do an attack or whatever and it will steal as... I mean, it makes sense. It's in the name. It steals as well as does what, like whatever the other function was. Like if you put it on a, a death blow, I'm pretty sure... It'll, it'll steal and do a death steal. blow. So yeah, it can be kind of useful if I guess... I went this way. Oh my god. I just don't know how they can justify it. Like, I, it's kind of ridiculous. And I'm not even Wrong going way. the right way. I think but, you have to just go south. Yeah. yeah. All right. So now that we have that, we can actually go to Nibelheim, which I meant to go to before we went to the under underwater reactor, but I forgot because yeah, we, we have to get do some. Yeah, we piano got two playing. things either piano playing exactly. Yeah, we got some piano playing, and we're actually going to be treated to a kind of a secret cutscene you can't miss. So you know, I actually did miss it the first time I ever played the game. I never even knew it was there till like. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It'll uh, explain a little bit more of the backstory to us. So I think you can cut the trip out. Yeah, I think actually it'd be a good idea just to. Sk I know we've done this a lot, but I mean, it's just flying. Actually, no, I forgot. Oh yeah, never mind. <laughs> I forgot that we made a discovery while I was flying to Wutai from Midgar. All Just right. picture the high wind being purple right now. Two all things. I have to say. We've shown you the flying sideways technique. Now I discovered that you can also hop with it. There, look at this. And <laughs> hop and go sideways. <laughs> oh my. God. Oh my there. Up sideways, up mountains and everything. We're in That's the pimp ridiculous. mobile, guys. That thing is, is a awesome. pimp mobile right now. That's right. pretty ridiculous. And also on the map here, you can see the flashing purple dot. I don't know if we ever showed you that before when we had the other two vehicles, but they have the... That is the Gelnik... Or not the Gelnik, oh my god. It is submarine? the whatever... Yeah, submarine. Actually, now that I mentioned it to myself here, I want to go get the huge materia before we go to Nibelheim. All I right, think so we we'll just... Oh, submarine. yeah, we gotta get the submarine. I was actually gonna try and go underwater in the high wind. Oh, well, yeah, well, we know it could bounce on water. I don't you know never it know. Like, there. it might be able to go underwater. I've never, I never knew it could go hydraulic mode, but... That would be awesome. Well, let's go for this uh, huge material, but hopefully we don't run into a huge enemy. I swear. If I, what if I dive and he's, like, right on top of me? All right, let's go. It's happened to me before. For you, oh. for you, if you don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about Emerald Weapon. Oops, I'm going back up, dang. <laughs> yeah, I got uh, my Emerald controls. Weapon... It's, he's up. one of the, I believe they call them the American weapons. He's not in the Japanese or European versions of the game. I think he's only in the American version of the game. Well, I never knew that, dang. Yep, he's not in the Japanese one. Hopefully we got, we don't even have to show you guys where he's at because he's terrifying. Yeah, he is literally huge. You can crash into him, and if you get in a fight with him, you even have you a time limit on when you can beat him. Yeah, you'll get smashed. All right, now that we're here, we can get the huge material. I think we're going to, yep, there we go. So this is the leader sub. Damn, makes me sick just thinking about it. Huge material recovered. No damage appears to have been sustained. Whew, that's good to hear. And we got the huge material, which is, I think, the nice. third one that we got. And I'm pretty sure those are the only three in the game that we can get. Yeah, so now we've got a monopoly on huge materia. The Shinra threat should be minimized. Dang, I wanted to uh, just give you a little hint. Oh, God. I think I can see him. Where... Oh, uh, no, never mind. That's just dust on my screen. Oh, my <laughs> God. Awesome. What's that huge crater down there? Is that there? him over there to the right? Mm, nope. Yep. Yeah. No, that's an underwater reactor. I'm trying to show you guys Emerald Weapon, but he doesn't want to come out. Any other time I would have wanted to show you, he would have been here, but... 
Oh, oh well, I forget it. you guys will see him soon enough. Yep, we'll fight him. I, to my, in my opinion, he's probably the hardest boss in the game. He's pretty difficult. Him and the other American weapon, Ruby, are the most difficult enemies in the game. You know, I actually kind of wanted to talk... When we got Steel as well, I forgot to tell you guys, there's actually a... When you level up the Steel material, you get the Mug command. Yeah, it was basically you can steal and hit at the same time. Yeah, and also, apparently there's a glitch where if Vincent uses the Mug command, the next animation, attack animation, will, won't show up, but the effects will still be, like, counted. So if you use, like an Ultima attack right after Vincent uses his uh, Mug animation or whatever, the Ultima animation will play, but the enemy will still take the damage. That's so, pretty beast. <laughs> I will might be able to use that to cut down on some boss fight times and stuff when I have to use oh, Ultima, I get you. Uh, Knights of the Round and stuff like that. Yeah. So I will try and get Steel leveled up so I can show you guys that little trick. I've never actually tried it, so I don't know if it'll work. I have never even heard of it. But anyways, let's go ahead and try out the piano here. There's some specific commands we have to put in. All right, with my luck, I'm not going to remember. I know what the commands are. I'll try and play it. How did the... Oh, I remember, I guess. Like. Yeah, it goes, do, re, me, till I forget how... I think that's the notes you can play. Oh, here we go. Oh, Lord. Do, do, what do they correspond to the directional buttons or something? Yeah... It's okay. Let me. Can I start over? Like, oh, <laughs> uh, uh, I guess if you press end, he'll restart. Yeah, okay. I want to restart. I want to tell you guys like the the keys we got to play here. All right, it is X square triangle. Now R one. I don't remember what button that is. I'm on oh, a little setup God, keyboard here. configuration. There. R one and triangle. R one and square. X square triangle. R one and X circle. X square X. Start. <laughs> Did it work? Oh my god! Oh, I must have been so... hitting left L1 or something like that. Alright, trying it again. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is hilarious. Go. You know, I can't play the piano in real life either, so. Oh Square well, dang. I think I just I did the same it. thing! God! You keep hitting R1 instead of L1? X square triangle. R1 in a circle. X square X. Did oh! It good, thank god. One gill. One gill. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what the f? Tifa's life savings. Did we Are have we to? supposed to? I know I... I've done this before. What the hell is going on? I hold on. All right, I'm playing it again. It... Does it have a specific song for each item? I don't think so. I thought it was always like I wrote this down. Like I've done this before. Dang. Try it one more time. He's going for his last try here. And I swear to God. <laughs> We've got oh All right, my God. I guess we'll have to come back later and get that. I guess it shows you how much I know. <laughs> exactly, that's all I feel right now. <laughs> oh my! Now Lord. with my luck, the uh, cutscene won't even play over here. If the cutscene doesn't play, this is going to be. Disgusting. I will probably stop the channel, never play again. My God! I, I know lose. the cutscene will happen. Go to that Shinra basement. I'll. I put five bucks and won't play. It's going. All right, good. Right, We're over here yelling about how we didn't get the damn thing. Yeah, out of during the bot or the little <laughs> enemy fight there, I don't know. I honestly don't know what happened. Like maybe did we have to play it more than once? I'm just. I the only thing I thought of was maybe there's a different tune, one for the one gill and one for final heaven. T fast to be in your party. T fast to be in your party for you to get the final <laughs> heaven out of her room. Oh my, my god! Watch her like get bitter and not give us the uh, limb break. You stole now. my stash exactly. of one gill. Oh, here's a oh, cutscene. I'll be Zach over. and you can be club. All right, cool. Owe me five bucks. Oh, come on. <laughs> I forgot what I, even, what I even bet that forwarding. Look at this. They're both just in... Ugh, that's Dang, it looks like, like monsters. You'll see Cloud's got like, like leprechaun shoes on. They have like a big buckle oh, on them. I didn't see it. Dang, who's this? Oh, Gast. Hey, this is your food. There's nothing in his hands. Exactly. What? <laughs> This game's this hilarious. Trading. Why do they need food? They're in like a incubation tank. Does he like right? drop pellets in like for fish? It's a fish <laughs> tank. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, oh man. I can just walk right out. I, I don't know. I've never seen this before. Actually, this is the first time I've ever seen this cutscene. So, but it's, apparently Zach and Cloud go way back because this yeah, must have been this. a long time ago. I love how they don't have. Never mind. I'm not gonna rip. <laughs> Dang, he's probably got the Buster Sword over there. Yep, that's the original owner. Are they never going to talk? Uh, apparently, well, they don't have Malice, so how can they talk? Oh! <laughs> Dang, yeah, Cloud's going beast. Cloud is completely just limp, apparently. Dang. I was just about to say, there's a weird heartbeat sound going on in the background. Maybe Cloud's injured at this point for some reason. Maybe, I don't well, know. Obviously, he's being dragged along. Oh, here! 
Put this on. <laughs> it smells a little, though. Don't complain. Put on this. You look pretty good with that. Well... Apparently we don't get to see what he did. They ruined the whole cutscene. Boy, with that one, with that one typo. Yeah, I, wait, what? My God, put on this. Well, I mean, it wasn't technically wrong. I guess I just read it wrong. Anyway, yo, old guy, we at Midgar yet? It's kind of rude. Shut up! You're lucky I even gave you a ride. I'm so glad I didn't take that voice because that was awesome. <laughs> Is my son weird? But I honestly like Zach's hair more than Cloud. All right, it looks base. <laughs> what are you gonna do once we get to Midgar? I know what I'm gonna do. I got a place I can crash for a while. Airs his house? No, wait, yeah. the mother lives there too. Oh, that, that's awkward. Guess that's out. <laughs> She's a flower girl. Yep. Yep, gotta change my plans. I like the scenery in the Ooh. back. No matter what I do, I need some money first. Hey, want to start a business? But what could we do? Hey, Cloud. Think there's anything I'd be good at? Hey, old guy. What do you think I'd be good at? What are you yapping about? You're still young, ain't ya? Young folks should try everything. You gotta pay your dues while you're young. Go out and look for what we really want. Try everything. That's easy for him to say. What is he doing? Like exercises in the back? Yeah, apparently he's <laughs> doing like squats in the truck here, dang. I love how the truck's so rusted to pieces and like it's Classic. yellow and everything. Hey! Of course! I got a lot of brains and skill that other guys don't. That settles it. I'm gonna become a mercenary. Yeah, thanks, Pops. Hey, didn't you even hear a word I said? Listen, I'm gonna become a mercenary, and that's that. Boring stuff, dangerous mon- What? Boring stuff, dangerous stuff, anything for money. I'm gonna be rich. So, Claude, what are you gonna do? No, wait, you got it all wrong. Uh, uh. Just kidding, I won't leave you hanging like that. We're friends, right? Mercenaries, Cloud. That's what you and me are gonna be. Understand, Cloud? Alright. That was... <laughs> that was kind of ridiculous. <laughs> oh. oh, this is sad right here. I know this cutscene. Nope, never seen it still. <laughs> Why can Cloud never walk? <laughs> it's kind of so, funny. I hate to say it, but he's one of the wimpiest freaking He's beans we done. Like, I thought he was awesome until I got to, like, later in the game and all this stuff started happening. Look at his feet. Look at his arm. It's like, <laughs> hang and, like behind him somehow. It looks broken hilarious. <laughs> What? There. He just like flopped backwards all of Oh, he might have got shot off. Oh! He got shot. Oh my. What do you want to do with him? Uh, no. <gasps> Forget it. Just leave him. I should have taken that guy in battle back on the sh uh, submarine. I didn't know what he did before. Dang. We took them prisoner. Oh my, why did I do that? I've never seen this before. I would have killed that kid. I thought the commander was like a funny little character. I didn't know he was diabolical. My God. No, he just like shot Zack to smithereens. My God. Maybe this is how he gets a sword. This is how he gets it. Surprised he can even hold it. He can't even stand up. I thought his arm was broke. <laughs> That's true. That right arm, it does look broken. Oh. No! And there's Midgar. Yep. That's, That's awesome. pretty awesome. This is a pretty important cutscene to just hide in the Shinra basement, don't you think? Yes. Like, I even came to the, Sh the Shinra basement, saw that Sephiroth cutscene, and got, I think, Meteor. I never thought to come back here. That, yeah, well, that's an important cutscene, especially when it comes to the compilation of Final Fantasy VII. That's a big one. Alright, I took the liberty of cutting all that out, the walk back, and like, PHSing Tifa into the All party. the useless stuff that would just be boring. Yeah, we have Tifa back, so now he's gonna play the piano again, and we should be treated to something a little bit more than one gill. You know, actually, I kinda wanna give her her, uh, premium heart. Look at that. 
It's Ooh, actually dang. pretty strong. I mean, the attack percentage is lower, but come on, it's over 100%. So. It's pretty awesome. I always hated how the ultimate weapons don't let you, like, grow your material anymore. Yeah, I know. All annoyed. right, so here we go. Let's see if I can remember or get it right this time. Oh, well, here he goes. Oh. Oh, we got this in the bag. Done. <laughs> Oh, but see, I'm not talking things up. When I talk stuff up, just watch the last episode, 19 minutes, 30 Oops, seconds. did it wrong already. This is ridiculous. Oh, my. Wow. Just say the letters out loud or whatever. Yeah, you know, it'll keep time. it straight in my mind. All right. X, square, triangle. R1 and triangle. R1, square. X, square, triangle. R1, X, circle. X, square, X. Start. There Done. we go. There we what go. What the hell just happened? You <laughs> what the... God! Didn't we get the one gill last time? Is this already? like an endless source of gill right here? <laughs> I am at a... This is freaking hilarious. I'm going to figure out what the hell is going on, <laughs> and I will see you guys back for episode 50, 48. 50. I don't even remember. It's 50. 50 the big god. one. All right. Oh my god. I want to thank you guys for watching this fantastic episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII, and I will see you guys back for the next episode. Uh, see you next time.